Hey guys, Eric with Blue Line Fishing. Welcome back to the channel. Your time's important to me. And what we're going to do in today's time is I'm going to show you seven lures that you can get on a budget that I think are essential for your tackle box. Under $30, can get it done, cover all kinds of situations. Also, I'm going to give you information at the end of the video on a thousand subscriber giveaway and how you can win these lures. Stick around, it's going to be good. All right, guys, let's jump into this with seven essential lures, in my opinion, that you need in your tackle box and you can get it all done for under $30. We'll start off with, if you guys watch the channel, you know, love spinner baits. And if I had to pick just one spinner bait, it would be a white or shad colored spinner bait, especially like the willow leaf with the gold kicker or lead blade on it. Uh, I've caught a lot of really nice fish over the years on this. This is one of my custom made rip jaw spinner baits, but uh, one bait, you need is a spinner bait. You can do so much with it. And I'll leave a link down in the description on some spinner bait videos that I've got you can check out. Also all about spinner baits. Um, it's just one of those baits that you can fish. You, I mean, you can burn it. You can run it over the top of weed beds. You can throw it into timber. You can fish it as a contact bait. You can yo-yo it up and down off the bottom. It just does so many different things. And you can pick one up for three or four dollars a cheaper spinner bait. It doesn't have to be one of the expensive eight, nine, ten dollar spinner baits or more. Um, you know, three or four bucks can get this done. So that's number one on the list, a spinner bait. Number two, a jig and trailer. It's a classic bait, but it's one you really need in your tackle box. Once again, um, you can cover a lot of different areas of the water column with it. Personally, I love to fish timber with a, a jig and trailer and if you're, gonna, if you're gonna ask about colors on those, what I would do is stay with neutral colors. Of course, the black and the blue is a classic. You know, it's the old faithful that everybody uses, and it's a great color combination. Um, I like the brown and purple tones, and this is also one of my custom-made baits. Give you a little look at that there. Um, a rip jaw jig. But this one is 3 8 ounce, and it's one that I think you need to get. Um, also, you know, it's one of these baits, you can go to Walmart and you can pick up an Arky jig um, in black and blue or an earth tone like this or natural tone um, for two or three dollars as well. It doesn't have to be one of the, the very expensive brands, especially if you're just starting out learning how to fish jigs because you're going to lose them when you start fishing in some timber, which is okay because if you're getting hung up, that means you're fishing where the fish are. Um, so a jig is number two on the list, must have in the tackle box. Number three, stick baits. These are such versatile baits that it's not even funny. I mean, you can fish these as Texas rig, you can fish them as a wacky rig, you can fish them uh, weightless, you can fish them on a Carolina rig. There's so many different ways you can fish this bait. But you know, the Gary Yamamoto Senko, of course the Senko is the classic, but you can pick up these Yum baits, uh, some of the Strike King version, and these are the Yum Dingers, for $2.50, $3 a pack a lot of times. Once again, you don't have to spend the seven, eight, nine dollars for a pack of Senkos. So these are one of the most versatile soft baits you can have in your tackle box. Like I say, you can pick these up cheap. There's so many different ways you can fish them. I'll put a link down in the description to a wacky rig video I've got, show you how to set one up with a double O-ring. Um, also, I've got some just some fishing videos where we're fishing a wacky rig and do pretty well on them. So check those out if you want to like I say link down in the description I'm also going to have a card at the end of the video that you can click on you'll be able to get a playlist of me using the majority of these lures and catching fish on them next essential lure would be a square bill crankbait this is an RC lucky craft it's a Rick Clun lure uh, this one here is in the sexy shad color but it really doesn't matter what brand you go with as long as you've got yourself a good quality um, square bill crankbait once again, it's, it's a bait you can throw up in timber. It'll bounce off all that fish and lay down, lay downs, root wads, um, burning them over grass beds, bumping them into rocks. It's such an incredibly versatile bait that um, you just gotta have one in your tackle box. You can see on the square bill, they're gonna have a little bit thicker bill. It's gonna allow this to deflect off of the structure that you're fishing, whether it's rocks, timber, docks, it, it really doesn't matter. So it's gonna give you a lot of versatility in being able to throw this crankbait and not getting this crankbait hung up. So square bow crankbait, definitely one you want to have in your tackle box. And like this one here, this Lucky Craft RC, you can pick it up for about $5.50 or so, sometimes even a little bit cheaper. So another cheap fix for your tackle box as far as essential lures. Next essential lure, 
is a topwater frog. To cover that top of the water column, um, it's an ascent, to me it's essential lure because you can fish it into places that you can't fish other types of baits. You can throw the stick bait like we were talking about, rig Texas style and weedless, and drag it over duckweed, moss, grass beds, lily pads, and this frog is another one you can do that to. So like I said, this frog is another one, and you know these, these frogs, uh, you want to make sure it's a, it's a weighted frog, most of them are, there's a few out there on the market that aren't, but a weighted frog, one you can get some distance out of when you're casting, and uh, be able to walk the dog with it, or just drag it over that duckweed, drag it over the lily pads, um, and it's an incredibly effective bait, especially this time of year, I mean we're in summertime, but even going into the fall, um, a frog is another one that you need to be able to cover all the water situations you're going to cover. Number six, a lipless crankbait. And I'll tell you what, there's all different types of lipless crankbaits out there on the market. Uh, of course, the Bill Lewis Rattle Trap being the, the original fantastic bait. But if you want one that's a little bit cheaper and that works just as well, this Spot, Cotton Cordell Spot, is fantastic. This is what they'll look like new in the box. Um, sometimes their packaging is a little bit different. But this is a bait you can do so many different things with. I'll put a link down in the description last year when we were fishing these over the top of Green Brit weed beds and dropping them off of ledges uh, caught a really nice bass over six and a half pounds on a lipless crankbait uh, dragging them over the weeds ripping them over the weeds but one, once again it's kind of like a spinner bait it's one of those baits you can fish top to bottom of the water column and you can really get a lot done with it so this is another bait you can get and you can pick these up for four or five dollars um, if you look around at Walmart Academy places like that and don't have to spend a bunch of money on it. number seven a creature bait I don't care what type of creature bait you pick. This happens to be a Berkeley Havoc. It's a pit boss. Um, I really, really like this bait for a couple reasons. Number one, I'll take one out of the package here and give you a look at it. It's, it's a bulky bait, so whether I'm using it as a standalone creature bait or whether I'm using it as a trailer on the jig, like we talked about earlier, I can cut this down just a little bit, maybe down to the third or fourth rib, and it's a nice big bulky trailer. Uh, I've got a video I'll link down in the description where I'm fishing actually the pit boss with a couple other trailers doing really well on jigs um, on some cold weather bass and I'll also leave a card with a playlist in the description on the fishing action videos and you can check those out but anyway a creature bait is one you definitely need these are one you can fish it weedless you can fish it weighted Texas style you can fish it on a Carolina rig you can fish it as a trailer on one of your jigs it is one of those incredibly versatile baits that does not cost a lot pit boss you can pick these up I think it's an eight pack it is an eight pack you can pick these up at Walmart for around three dollars so once again eight baits and you can use the same a lot of the if you use an extra wide gap hook which is what I like to use a two out or a three out on the stick baits they work perfect as a standalone hook on these creature baits. Alright guys now to the meat and potato of this videos I know you guys wanted the giveaway information and here you go going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. We're only about 130 subscribers or so away from that now. So once I get to that, I'm going to pick a winner at random with the TubeBuddy app. The way you enter is really easy. Number one, subscribe to the channel. Number two, leave a like on this video. Number three, leave a comment down in the comment section. If you're already a subscriber and if you are, I really appreciate your support. It means a whole bunch to me. All you need to do then is like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section. And I will send all these lures that were used in this video to you. I'll do some future giveaways as well, um, making up some new custom baits. And I think I'm going to start giving those away on occasion here during the video or during certain videos. But once again, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks for your time. And remember, get out there and fish.